Yo, what's up boys, in today's video we're gonna see my over 4 billion coins team and uh, if you wanna see gameplay with this 4 billion coins team in uh, FC Champion, I'm literally, I was literally so close to FC Champion 1 last season, I was literally few wins away but uh, I didn't have time to play so I didn't uh, uh, achieve it but uh, if you want to see gameplay with this team make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for the channel so let's not waste any time and start with the goalkeeper which is going to be this uh Mamar the Shvili card, the new Liverpool goalkeeper actually I'm a Liverpool fan and I bought him before uh, the transfer was official so I'm so so happy because uh, I started liking this goalkeeper uh, from the Euro he made a really good uh, Euro, he was uh, performing really well and uh, he saved his country uh, so many times and uh, I was uh, hoping that Georgia can make uh, something uh, and uh, qualify for the finals, they qualified for the finals so uh, I really liked uh, this uh, goalkeeper Mamardashvili and now he's a Liverpool goalkeeper so in game um, I wanna say that the goalkeepers don't matter that much Mm, just don't buy expensive goalkeeper because it's not worthy the difference between hey uh, I don't know 90 overall uh, or max the uh, Wander Sar 94 uh, then this Mamardashvili card is not gonna be that that huge uh, I have a lot of games I'm gonna post a video uh, last season last day push trying to hit uh, FC Champion 1 and you're gonna see that I didn't even consider that many shots to my goal so I I didn't even need a goalkeeper that much because some matches I, I didn't even concede a single shot so I don't need a goalkeeper that much. So I don't spend that money much that much money on a goalkeeper spent on on a defense and the defense guys. Oh my god defense. The defense is going to be absolutely amazing. Our left back is going to be this uh, uh, Hernandez card. Uh, you saw that we have uh, Kukurea, but uh, I decided that I'm gonna use Hernandez because he's just better, he's faster, uh, he's just better. I like uh, this Theo Hernandez card, he's uh, on the third rank up level. They have to freaking fix the rank up system because it's so, so, so dumb and I hate it so much, bro. Why, why are they doing this, bro? Why are they doing this? The rank up system has to be like this. For every rank up level, you need only one single match Rano. Now, for this rank up level, I need 5 match rounds. Why? It's so dumb. Literally near nearly one year from the beginning of the game. And then they did nothing about the ranking system. But uh, we're not gonna talk about this Hernandez card because it's just not the, uh, one of the best uh, cards in the, in the team that we have. The right back is going to be this uh, Joshua Kimmich card. I was looking for right backs and... Uh, I was wondering uh, for Impong or uh, something like that, but uh, I thought I'm gonna use Kimmich because Kimmich is a uh, cool player, I like Kimmich mm, and uh, his stats are decent, he's not the best right back actually, I'm not that happy with him, you can see the maximum stats, maximum training level, maximum rank up level, I'm using uh, the skill points on defending and uh, he's, he's okay, he's okay, his defending is okay, um, he's not that fast actually. He has uh, 131 pace, Hernandez has, has 3 pace less, but uh, Hernandez feels faster, what? I, 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 don't, I don't understand bro, I don't understand. But uh, okay, now, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, take a look at the, the central defenders uh, in our team and uh, let's see what is going to happen there. They're so, so, so solid, as you can see, we have Virgil van Dijk, 103 overall and uh, Manuel Akanji. 102 overall, he's actually untradeable, uh, I have to mention which players are tradable or not, uh, Hernandez is untradeable, I packed him, Kim is tradable, Akanji is untradable, uh, I packed him too, uh, Van Dijk is tradable, I bought him, so let's start first with the weaker card, this uh, Manao Akanji card, uh, 105 pace, 135 for defending, uh, he's on the third rank up level, so I'm not that happy with this card, but uh, uh, I don't have money bro, I don't have money, I have 30 million coins, I can't buy a decent central defender, so uh, we're gonna use this Akanji card, he's okay, he's okay, but uh, if I wanna hit, uh, for example, top 1000 in the world, uh, I really need to work on my, uh, on my central defender, he's, uh, he's bad, he's a, uh, he's a uh, big, big hole in my team, um, you need to um, fill those uh, places, those places in your team that are... Uh, 
are making you lose in games because uh, yeah he's uh, he's he's bad in, in some situations. I'm I'm not telling that he's bad, but uh, you really need to max your players on the max training level, max rank up level if you want to have a decent team, decent opportunity for beating your opponent. If you if you just want to be better than your opponent uh, before even the match starts. Uh, so now let's continue with the with the midfield. We're gonna see uh, some some really 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 decent players. Let's see our both uh, central midfielders, and they, they are absolutely unbelievable. Let's just put the the worst one. Actually, those three players, Hernandez, Akanji, and Bawak, are the only players that are not maxed in my team, not on the maxed rank up level. So let's first take a look at this Michael Bawak card. I packed him, he's untradeable, and just, just look at how all of the players that are untradeable, not a single one of them, is on the max level because it's just impossible bro you, if you want to max those three players you need 60 master rano cards this is impossible for a free to play player and i'm not even free to play so uh yeah yeah it's uh really really difficult and now we have this uh road hullet card 102 overall now someone is going to ask me why didn't you buy the new card 99 overall hullet from the euro event but uh, i just uh, saw the stats and um, I just saw the stats of this Root Holy card and the new card and the difference is one or two I don't know bro for example the pace is 96 this uh, the, the new card is 98 bro for two stats I'm not gonna spend uh, 150 or 200 million coins bro for something that it, it's just not worth it's just not worthy it's just not worthy uh, and this Root Holy card is absolutely amazing this is literally the best midfielder in the game just if you want if you want to be strong in the midfield, if you need strong uh, midfielder, this is the best, best player, the best player in the midfield. Every FC Mobile, every FIFA Mobile I'm using, Road Holy, no matter what. Even if the card is not that good, before that card, before I actually bought that card, uh, I, I was using the base Holy card, bro. Uh, literally, I, I'm not even joking, bro. I was literally... I was literally using um, the base version of Holit, and uh, someone is going to laugh right now. Uh, but uh, guys, he's so good, bro. He's he's so good. I was using this card. I was using this card. I was literally having uh, 102 overall players in my team, and I was having 95 Holit for 50 million coins. And look at the look at the price, actually, bro. For a 90 overall player, he's 50 million coins, bro. Look at all those players. For example, there. 20 million coins but he's double the price bro and uh, yeah there is a reason uh, behind that because he's absolutely amazing but look at the difference be be between the stats 98 pace and uh, 97 pace here bro 93 shooting and 95 shooting bro it, it, it's just not worth it. it's just not worth it to spend uh, uh, that uh, much coins i can use those coins to buy a new central defender for example and i didn't have the budget but if i had the budget i was going to spend on a central defender not on a new holid card or a better holid card because i spent my budget on the holid card but this holid card which is absolutely amazing five star weak foot uh, four star skill moves for lane change the stats are absolutely amazing i'm actually using passing i'm not sure if this is the best uh, thing for him i was using um not defending but i was using i was using physical and he was so strong bro maybe i can try using uh, the physical skill points but uh, we're, we're gonna see we're gonna see he's decent no matter what no matter what you put he's absolutely amazing and our, our team is already uh, 1 billion coins over 1 billion coins and we have 4 more positions and entire bench to fill so now let's continue with our central attacking midfield which is gonna be which is gonna be another absolutely amazing and unstoppable player he's actually he's actually he's actually stoppable he's he's not unstoppable bro that's that's um that's uh sad and he's tradable actually how much is now he going on the market not even oh my god bro why is he so cheap bro yeah this is a cheap Beast, if you want to have a, a absolutely amazing cam, Zinedine Zidane, 120 overall is going to be absolutely perfect for your team. Uh, five star weak food, four star skill moves, I'm pretty sure. No, five star skill moves actually, wow. Okay, and his stats are absolutely amazing. What did I give him? The, okay, we'll give, we'll give, uh, the skill points are for dribbling. We can uh, clearly see that, 150 dribbling. Um, I feel like I feel like he's um, a little slow uh, with the ball. He's turning so so slowly bro i don't like him that much uh if uh, for example ardaguler yeah he had new card but uh mm, 
But the problem is that I think he has 3 star waifu, bro, which is... Uh, ah, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, let, let's, let, let's take a look at this card. Yeah, he's gonna be 103 overall, but... Ah, look at those 3 star waifu, dude! Uh, this is the only thing stopping me for this, uh, to buy this Ardagulera card. I started liking him a lot from the from the Euro, and... Uh, uh, if, if he had 4 star weak foot, maybe I was going to sell my Zinedine's Zinedine card and I was going to buy this Ardagulera card, but no. Uh, but he's still, he's, he's still decent, he's still decent. Guys, just, okay, my team is not the best in the world. You're gonna see my attack and I'm using a attacker, which is terrible, guys. Okay, I'm using it for a one single reason and you're gonna understand why, but... but uh, my team is not even that good, bro. Balak is so slow. I, I didn't talk about that much about about Balak, but if I upgrade him, if I max max him, he's gonna be decent. But now he's so slow, and he's a uh, he's a weak part of my team. Akanji, Balak, they're the weak parts of my team. Mm. So uh, Zinedine's done. It's not uh, weak, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Somewhere in the middle. He's somewhere in the middle, but. Uh, of course, the strongest parts in my team, I have to switch Akanji and Van Dyke because our left uh, side of the pitch is gonna be so bad with Balak, Hernandez and Akanji, so I'm gonna swap them and uh, Van Dyke has to be on the left side so he can compensate the bad uh, stats of Balak and Hernandez and Akanji. Uh, so uh, Halit is really strong, he's, uh, he's literally, I don't know bro, he's a bull in the, in the midfield, he's destroying everything, Van Dyke is a tank in the defense, so you have to have at least one absolutely unstoppable player um, in every line of your team. I'm talking about defense, you have to have uh, at least one absolutely unstoppable player in your defense, one unstoppable player in your um, in your midfield and one unstoppable player in your attack, so you can uh, score goals with this player and uh, <laughs> yeah, your entire team is going to depend on this uh, striker or a uh, winger, so uh, let's take a look at our uh, uh, attack, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys are interested in this, so let's see the striker that I'm using, you're gonna be super shocked when you see this, maybe you already saw that, but this is Dimitar Barbatov, yeah guys, I was, I think, three or four wins away, I was going to hit the AFC Champion one, but I didn't have time, the season was ending and I didn't have time to play, and yeah, I literally hit, uh, nearly hit FC Champion 1 with a striker which has 3 star weak foot bro 3 star weak foot 135 pace, 130 uh, shooting, 139 dribbling this card was looking absolutely amazing when he was released but bro that was nearly or maybe even more than a half a year ago bro I don't, I'm not I'm not even sure just tell me in the comment, se in the comment section but uh, I was not going to use this card if he had less than 4 star skill moves. He has 4 star skill moves, so I'm gonna. So I can use uh, lane change. But uh, yeah, bro, it's really difficult with this striker. But I'm using Berbatov because I'm from Bulgaria. And this is a new Bulgarian hero card, new Bulgarian icon. So I really need to use him, bro. Uh, one of the best players in my country ever. So uh, I have to use him. So now you can guess. Uh, my left winger, you're, uh, you're gonna guess him so easily because, yeah, I mean, who the hell is gonna be, bro? <laughs> Another Bulgarian player, and that's Christo Tichkov. Okay, here the situation is different. Christo Tichkov is absolutely amazing, and we're gonna have another new Christo Tichkov card. Uh, I think 99 overall. This card is 97 without upgrade. The new card is gonna be 99 overall, so I'm gonna have 104 overall Christo Tichkov card from the new, uh, I think, Retro Stars event. And good part here is that they upgraded his weak foot. He, uh, his base card has 3 star weak foot, this card has 4 star weak foot and guys, trust me, the difference between 3 star and 4 weak, uh, 3 star weak foot and 4 star weak foot is, oh my god, is so huge bro, it's so huge guys, if you, uh, for, for example, player that has 3 star weak foot is, is nearly unusable, but player with 4 star uh, weak foot is, I mean, it's the same with the skill moves, I, 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 uh, I want to say that it's the same with the skill moves, if uh, you have a player that has 3 star weak foot uh, and uh, skill moves, he's um, nearly unusable, but he, if he has only one more, if he has 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot, he's just uh, so, so decent like this, uh, Chris Tuchkohar, he has 4 star skill moves, 4 lane change, if you're wondering why, 4 star weak foot, 4 lane change, the best 
skill move in the game, one of the best skill moves in the game. And the uh, four star weak foot, it's nearly like five star weak foot. So you, you can take finesse shots on max power with four star weak foot, but with three star weak foot, you can take max power finesse shots uh, from the uh, uh, from the edge of the box. But uh, I mean, it's it's absolutely amazing card. Yeah. It can be better and it will be better because we're gonna have another card. The pace is de uh, decent. I'm al always using Dexterity on my wingers because I want them to be so fast and outpace his backs. Uh, so because a lot of uh, people underestimate the uh, left back and the right back and they don't up upgrade them. And uh, my player li can literally outpace them so easily when uh, uh, they're not upgraded on max level and don't have... Uh, enough pace to uh, uh, stop, uh, for example, Stichkov and my right winger, which we're gonna see in a few seconds, but I wanna talk about this Dimitri Berberto card. Bro, I'm... Oh my god, bro! Why don't you give him another card, bro? Give him new card! Lit he's literally from the from the new players in the game, man. He's literally, literally from the new hero cards, and you're literally not giving him new cards. I don't understand you, EA Sports. Please give him new card. Why are you not giving him your card, bro? And please, if you give him your card, give him 4-star weak foot, because, bro, I'm gonna cry if you don't give him 4-star weak foot. I really wanna play with Burbo to 4-star weak foot. It's so difficult, guys. I have to swipe on the screen. One tip for you guys. If you have player with 3-star weak foot and you have to take a shot with the 3-star weak foot, just swipe on the screen. Don't press the shoot button, because if you swipe, you're gonna have higher chance of scoring. For example, when Burbo is 1v1, versus the goalkeeper and he has to score with his left foot. I'm always swiping because uh, the chance is uh, literally higher. So uh, this is a, a pro tip for you guys. I don't understand why it says icons when he's a hero card. This may be a glitch that they have to fix, but uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I just want a new card, bro. I'm, I don't want to talk about... Okay, he has three star weak foot, but bro, his card without upgrade is 93 overall. This is literally Fodor. I'm playing with Fodor on my uh, attack. This is literally the worst player in my team, like rating. So, um, mm, I don't know what to say, bro. I don't know what to say. The next player that we're gonna put in our team, his base card is gonna be higher overall than this maxed Burbotov card. And this is going to be our, probably the best player in our team. Uh, and this is going to be Mohamed Salah, 105 overall. Oh my god. And guys, this is a untradeable card. And I want to say one more thing. This is my favorite player. Mo Salah is my favorite player. I'm a Liverpool fan. Yeah, as you can see, I have Van Dijk, uh, Salah, Mamardashvili. It's actually a new Liverpool signing. So, uh, uh, Mohamed Salah, 105. 53 pace, 132, uh, 133 shooting, 151 dribbling, max uh, training level, max rank up level. I used all of my match around also I can upgrade this card. M I, I think this is the only untradeable card that I've ever maxed on the max rank up level. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it is. I'm so happy guys because this was the only right winger that was going to, and Messi of course. They were the only right wingers that, that were going to remove this uh, Kvaratskhelia card from my team. And uh, yeah, this Kvaratskhelia card, as you can see, he's uh, on the fourth rank up level. And it's so dumb because you can't transfer those ranks. For example, I, 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 I wasted mm, 20 match runs for this Salah card to max him. But I could have wasted only 10. Only for the last level. So I can just uh, transfer the uh, four rank up levels from Kvaratskhelia, from Kvaratskhelia, from Kvaratskhelia. To Mo Salah, and I was going to use only 10 match runs only for the last level and not for the previous four levels. But it's dumb, it's dumb. The entire system is so dumb. And now our team is 103 overall and nearly 3 billion coins uh, without the bench. But on the bench, we have some absolutely amazing players. Some of you are going to wonder why I don't use those players in my team, but uh. I'm gonna explain in a few seconds. Our team is looking so good. I wanna remove um, Akanji from my team. If I remove Ak 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 Akanji, my team is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm just waiting for a new Burbotov card. I'm never going to remove Burbotov from my team, even if they don't add a new Burbotov card. By the end of the game, I'm going to still, I'm still going to use this uh, card 
I don't care if we, if we have 120 overall players, I'm going to have this 98 overall card, so please give me another Berbatov card, please, please EA Sports. So now let's let's take a look at the bench, now on the bench we have this Rodri card, I packed him, he's how much overall, 104 overall, wow, yeah this is literally the max overall in the game, and someone is going to tell me, wow, bro, I'm not using Rodri. I just don't like Rodri and his CDM. I don't want to play with CDM and I just don't like Rodri. He's not that uh, decent uh, in game. Mm, I, I, I tried him, I tried him, but uh, I just didn't like him. The next card that we're gonna have on our bench is going to be this Kvarats Hila card and our team is already over 4 billion coins. We have four, uh, 5 more positions on the bench. Uh, we have another Rodri card. Yeah, bro, Rodri, what, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> I packed so many Rodri cards, they're all untradeable. Uh, if they're all tradable, of course I was going to sell them, but uh, let's put this up. Kukurea card, he is uh, uh, 100 overall, and someone is going to ask me why are you not using Kukurea. Blah, 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 blah. But no, nah, I'm not going to use uh, Kukurea, I don't like him. And uh, I think uh, Hernandez is just a better, so I'm gonna use Hernandez and not Kukurea. Yeah, yeah it's, it's simple as that, bro, simple as that. Martinez 99. Uh, we can't put this Rodri and Kvaratskhelia card because we already have Kvaratskhelia and Rodri in our team. Ward Prowse, uh, legend of our team, Zanetti, and uh, we're gonna put... Um, bro, my team is even 5 billion coins, bro, wow. I didn't even knew, bro. I didn't even knew, but we're gonna put this Grealish card and our team is 101 overall with bench and 5 billion coins, which is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so we can reach this absolutely amazing, uh, uh, absolutely amazing number of 5 billion coins, it's just <laughs> ridiculous bro, I don't know man, I don't know, it's, so, it's too much, 5 billion coins and our team is looking absolutely amazing, but we still have to work on some things, I think if I just buy for example Blan, I want a new central defender, uh, and I'm, I, I was thinking about uh, Warren Blan, let's just take a look at the options that we have, I was looking at the new central defender and uh, maybe if I pack untradeable, for example, Ferdinand, uh, Cannavaro, um, some of those players, it's going to be absolutely amazing, but no, I don't have that luck. But uh, for Bauk, I need uh, I need 200 million coins because I'll need uh, Fodor to upgrade him, yeah, at least, m m I think even, yeah, bro, maybe even nearly 3 100 million coins because I need a lot of followers to upgrade him. I need followers for my goalkeeper because I don't have money to upgrade him. Remember the shield to give him uh, the training levels. Uh, Maldini 99 is still a decent option, but he's too too expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. And actually, Maldini gameplay, I'm not big fan of it. If I have to choose between Buan and Maldini, I'm probably going to choose Buan. A lot of people are going to choose Maldini, but. I'm talking about the gameplay, yeah, I like Maldini more, but Balan is just uh, decent uh, in-game and uh, he's gonna be super, super strong in our defense. I don't even concede that many goals. I don't remember the, the last time where I conceded more than, more than two goals. More than two goals. Two goals is the maximum, even with uh, some scripted gameplay where the game is doing everything possible so can my opponent can, my opponent can win but uh, mm, I don't remember the time maybe maybe in the last I don't know like like 200 matches there are like two games where I conceded more than two goals and I lost because yeah if, if I won uh, with uh, four goals and he scored three yeah, it, does it matter actually yeah it, it matters it matters actually if you concede that many goals but if the win is the most important thing, but so uh, this is our team guys, this is our team, uh, if you want to see gameplay with uh, uh, with uh, this team, uh, just let me know in the comment section, leave a like on the video, subscribe for the channel, we're gonna play uh, in, uh, yeah, as you can see now I'm top uh, 6,000 in the world, I was uh, top 5,000, but I lost uh, one really script, uh, scripted game, uh, so uh, make sure to subscribe for the channel, so you're gonna see some professional gameplay, and I think this season if I get enough coins, to uh, buy a uh, new central defender and max my uh, goalkeeper and uh, probably just upgrade uh, Hernandez and uh, Bawak my team is going to be nearly unstoppable I am going to be nearly unstoppable another problem are the hackers I lost two games versus, versus hackers I'm gonna upload those matches that I lost versus hackers so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like on the video 
uh, comment down below what the videos you want to see in the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next video.